Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well, staying safe. Today, super hot summer day, so please pardon my sticky complexion. Anyway, today I wanna to talk about three, three common mistakes that you should avoid when starting your software career. There are certain habits that make developers either an asset or a burden. Obviously, none of us wanna be a burden and we wanna be valuable and we wanna be an asset to whatever we're contributing our efforts to. It's especially important at the beginning of your career because this is when you really develop your habits as a professional programmer. If you have bad habits, if you hold on to bad habits, they can really, really hurt your career in the long run. So it's really good to just kill them right off the bat. So without further ado, today's video, I wanna talk about three, three mistakes that you should avoid for your software development career. The first common mistake that you have to absolutely avoid is going down rabbit holes. What do I mean by rabbit holes? A rabbit hole is when a software developer spends too much time, spins their wheels on a task, and doesn't communicate why it's taking so long. If you find yourself taking way too much time on a task, if it's a small bug and you've been working on it for weeks, for example, you really, really have to communicate your status. Why is it taking you so long? What are you spending your time on? Are you blocked by anything? Some people, they may think that it's really, really important to solve the task independently and they might, it might reflect badly if they're not able to figure it out, but actually it reflects really badly if you take too long on something and don't tell anyone. Something that's actually very, very well respected in software development is that if you're stuck, if you find yourself taking too long on something, you have to communicate why and just admit that you're stuck. If you keep forcefully trying to solve a problem, you're probably gonna create a lot more damage than you intended and it's gonna reflect really poorly on you. For many managers, this is one of the prime pet peeves of many managers is that they have to pull developers out of the rabbit hole. They assign a small task, they think it should take a day, a couple days or so, and it turns into weeks of work, hundreds of files modified and really dangerous code being committed. And managers and bosses hate to do that. If something is taking you way too long, you have to let someone know. So for all the beginners out there, please, please, please pay attention to this. Don't get stuck in a rabbit hole. If you can't figure something out, please communicate it. Set your expectations with your manager early and all your stakeholders early. Make sure everyone's on the same page of how long it should take. And if it doesn't take you that long, if you can't figure it out, it's perfectly fine. Just communicate it, all right? Going down rabbit holes and trying to forcefully solve problems, I've seen it many, many times, and it reflects really badly on you. Second, second common mistake that you should avoid as a beginner level developer is that you should always remember to retain your information. If you make the mistake of forgetting things, if you're a leaking ship, that does not look good. You have to always be a sponge. If someone tells you something, that should be the only time they have to tell you that. Just to make some more concrete examples, if I'm showing you something very specific, this is how you test your code, this is how you deploy your code, this is how you update documentation. If somebody is sharing a process that's very specific for you, it's up to you, it's your responsibility to remember that process and not forget it. Just remember, you have to be a sponge. Your job as an entry-level developer is just to retain, retain as much information as you can. This is very difficult. There's a lot of stuff going on. You have to manage dependencies. You have to remember all this stuff going on with the system. But at the end of the day, that's your responsibility. Okay, you can't forget all the things that people tell you, especially if you're a beginner. The third, the third mistake that many common beginners make is that they don't gather a lot of context around the tasks that are assigned to them. This is what I mean. If you're just starting your job as a software developer and you're assigned a few bugs to fix, yes, what you could do is just fix those bugs, but what you should do is actually fix the bugs and try to understand the context of the code around them. So if you're fixing a bug for customer signup, try to take some extra time and figure out the whole customer signup flow and how that system operates in the software. As a beginner level developer, you're probably worried about getting your tasks done, you know, checking off all the boxes, but think about the perspective of your manager or your boss. Actually, not only if they're a good boss, they should be assigning you work, but they're also directing you in the right path. If they're telling you to fix a bug in the customer signup flow, that actually means fix this bug and understand 
our customer sign-up flow. So there's always context to your work. It's not just shitty, you know, grunt work. It's actually directed work. If you have a good boss, if you're working at a respectable company and the boss is actually trying to level you up and make you effective, they're gonna give you work that directs your attention in certain places. So with that said, it's also your responsibility to take all your tasks, even if they're just a very, very simple bug, even if it looks simple, get the context around that bug and understand the system surrounding it. All right, that's the end of the video. Please excuse the light in this room. It's flickering. For some reason, my lamp decided to go bad right when I was filming. It's kind of annoying, but again, three common mistakes that you should avoid. And please don't make these habits. These are mistakes to avoid. If you develop these mistakes by accident, it's really, really gonna hurt your career. So it's better in the beginning to just nail it in the butt. So again, one, don't go down rabbit holes. Make sure to always communicate your progress. It's okay to be wrong. Just admit that you're wrong and ask about it. Second, be a sponge. Don't lose information. If somebody has to show you something twice, that's not good. Third is remember, whatever task you're assigned, get the context around that task. Don't just fix the bug. Fix the bug, learn something around it, all right? Three things, three common mistakes. Don't have bad habits as a software developer and it's really gonna build a strong foundation for you to be super, super effective. All right, that's the end of the video, everyone. Hopefully it was helpful. Please give me a like, please leave me a comment and thank you. See you later.